Hey Forrest. Hey Seamus. What's going on? Today uh, our question comes from Anna Gail and she would like to know a little bit about the folklore and magical properties of bees and honey. Hey Kelson. Um, so uh, this is also tying in rather conveniently to the fact that this weekend on Friday um, the new collection of magical perfumes comes out at New Cobalt Designs, and the theme is bees and honey. So, um, let's see, some of the folklore. Uh, the Egyptian god Ra was said to have wept, and his tears were bees that flew around the world with their fuzzy golden splendidness, uh, spreading prosperity and joy and blessings throughout the land. And um, what's interesting is that Bees come in all kinds of varieties. We think of them usually as those black and yellow critters, and that those are the colors we associate with them. But there are types of mason bees, carpenter bees, and what are called sweat bees that come in this amazing array of metallic greens and blues and purples. They're just so cool. Um, honey is used in magic for all kinds of things. If you watch the first video we ever did of our Wednesday series, you saw me do a honey jar, which is a folk magic tradition for improving relationships between people. Another folk use for honey is as an offering. Every ancestor, spirit, and deity appreciates honey, and so it's a wonderful thing to have around in case you just want to do a little bit of veneration, give a little bit of honor and gratitude to those spirits who work with you. And also, when you are walking out and you know you're going to have an important conversation with someone, putting a little bit of honey on your lips before you speak is an excellent way to make sure that your elocution and your diction and your persuasiveness is totally on point. Um, honey is used in all kinds of spell work for uh, relationships to prosperity. The golden color of honey is very related to prosperity and wealth and well-being. And there's a beautiful myth in the Yoruba tradition about Oshun, who is the dancing waters and the spirit of all things in life that are good and joyful and pleasurable. And at one point, um, the other deity that she was interacting with, Ogun, um, was harboring himself in the woods and refused to come out. And so in order to draw him out of the woods and bring him back into the world, Oshun danced a, a very seductive dance and, and she covered herself in honey and she drew him out of the woods and back into the world so that he could continue to be with the, the humans and, and continue to give his blessings. So those are some stories about bees and about honey. And please join us on NuiCobaltDesigns.com on Friday. That will be at 2.11 p.m. Eastern and 11.11 a.m. Pacific. And you can see all of the new bees and honey themed magical perfumes that I've created for you this year. I'm very excited to show you. Have a Woop. good one. Woot. Have a good one, you guys. Birch better have my honey. Oh.